I'm live at the marriage seminar held held here in Saint Jomeviani Catholic Church, and it's fun, it's insightful. The turnout is massive. It shows that a lot of people want to hear more about how to make the marriage work. People want to really understand how to get it right. For a lot of persons to turn out like this, including myself, shows that we really want to know how to spice up our marriage and really it's been it's been wonderful. I'm missing you, baby, and it's killing me, baby. Please don't stay away. I need you every day. Baby, oh, baby, you're like medicine to me. You give me everything I need. Baby, the reality of that bar is that marriage is still so long. Don't make me think about it. Don't ever contemplate divorce. That's like the first thing I told us. He or she would like to Touch him or her, hold him or her, put your hands around his shoulder. Those things mean so much to them. Has actually opened up this issue of apology languages. It is really a new, you know, concept to me that I've discovered today. And sincerely, I want more of this program. I've really learned a lot. It was a well put together. The speakers have been wonderful. Everything about the seminar has been wonderful. An amazing evening actually. The ambience here, the weather actually. It's a marriage seminar and the weather is for two. So you can see it's all, all round beautiful. So we're grateful. Thank you. The seminar is going well. It's going well. A lot of the turnout is impressive. And then the lecturers and resource personnel, they have been awesome with their lectures and you know, teachings. That the issue of sex should not be a problem in marriage. To understand the psychology of your partner. I think it's all of us to understand that, yes, yeah, certain things may be pronounced, but we too should also be capable of adapting to certain things, even in our relationship. Get married, we just stop having programs like this. And so we stop growing. I know life is effects and causes. If you are not growing, you are dying. So this one gives us the opportunity to, to add to our knowledge. So we learn, we learn, everybody is learning. We, we saw the, 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 the topics, they are very, they are the ones that make up love languages, the rules each uh, uh, couple has to play in a marriage, and, and so many more. We have been a wonderful experience. The talks have been really fulfilling and educative. I just pray that uh, it, 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 it's, it's going to be a yearly thing. Because you like it or not, for those people that are married and even the single, everybody has benefited one or two things from, from today's uh, seminar. So being a yearly thing, it will help at least to cement marriages and to cement relationships so that we will have more of marriages that will last till the dead was part. Well, for this event, it's a nice one and um, I 
thank the committee members, the organizers for this wonderful event. And I encourage them not to keep it at this pace. It should continue. It should be a continue, probably a yearly stuff or two uh, two times in a year stuff because most families need this talk. Most family needs these uh, words of encouragement and abomination so that everything can be going on well because the rate of divorce now is much. But thank you to the organizers for making this event a success. I appreciate I really learned a lot. So I, I want to believe that some of us are here. Having listened to the speakers, of course, you found yourself in one place or the other. Knowing fully well that this world doesn't end in one place. Yes, you are. I want to say first also to thank our parish priest, a humble man. Of <laughs>